Hello, everybody. This is Kathy Black, and it is my pleasure to judge the Ragamuffin Perfectly Baked Virtual Cat Contest. And it is a lot of entries, a lot of beautiful cats, very difficult to choose my top 15 only in every category that I had the pleasure to judge. So let me get my screen sharing here and we will get going. Uh, first of all, the theme of this virtual show was so cute. Uh, you know, we always talk about the ragamuffins with the word muffin in there and to play on that with the perfectly baked or baked to perfection theme just was absolutely a, a really cute idea to um, have a virtual contest around the ragamuffins. Thank you to all of the sponsors. These sponsors donated anywhere from 250 to $499. Uh, and then the $500 sponsors were the Cat Club of the Palm Beaches, the Ragtime Cat Ragamuffins, and Karen Lane. So thank you to everybody. Even the $100 to $249 silver sponsors and the $25 to $99 bronze sponsors. Look at all these sponsors. I'm sure this club is just ecstatic with the uh, amount of support that they've received. So thank you to everyone who donated to this cause. All right, so let's get started with my top 15 kittens. Uh, my 15th best kitten was this beautiful Siamese. This is a lilac point baby. Uh, I just, I know this is a kitten and you can look, tell by looking at it that it's a young cat, but I really like the elongation to the neck, the refinement to the legs, the beautiful body uh, color and the body length, beautiful roundness to that torso. And it just it struck a, such a beautiful pose. I just thought this was a darling little kitten and I'm happy to make kitten number 33 my 15th best kitten. My 14th best kitten is this beautiful brown tabby Scottish fold short hair. Look at the tightly capped ears on this baby, the beautiful roundness through the head. I love the eye aperture and the eye shape. It's got a very well padded body, a beautiful pattern to the coat. Very darling little Scottish fold short hair, number 26 is my 14th best kitten. My 13th best kitten is kitten number 11. This is, I believe, a silver tabby uh, Maine Coon female. I really love the ear placement on this baby, uh, the broadness of that muzzle. You can see the heavy leg boning, the great shag to the coat, the beautiful head length. Everything is well in balance on this girl. She is my 13th best kitten. I had several ragamuffins that were entered. And this was, I think, my third best in the ragamuffins, this beautiful white. First of all, the grooming is just spectacular. Sparkling white everywhere. I love the sweet expression through the head. Lovely coat, great body, beautiful example, number 22 is my 12th best kit. I had an interesting uh, category uh, with the straight ears. This is uh, the first time uh, outside of Russia <laughs> that I've judged a straight eared Scottish fold. And this lovely brown, I think it's a brown spotted tabby in white, uh, number 29. I just love the sweet expression. You can really see the roundness through this cat. Um, really has that sweet open expression that we're looking for with our Scottish uh, straight. And uh, when I judged this breed in Russia, I had a judge tell me, well, just fold the ears down and then you can get the full expression of the cat. But I like the small ears on this cat. You could really uh, see if those were folded, how tightly kept they would be. This is a beautiful female. And number 29 is my 11th best kitten. Uh, another ragamuffin, this red tabby and white, beautiful male, 
really like the sweet expression. Beautiful body on this guy. Lovely presentation and grooming. I love the eyes, the shape of the eyes, the expression through the eyes. Really has a great distance between those eyes, giving it that very open, sweet expression. This number 20 is my 10th best kitten. This Scottish Fold, long hair, red tabby. You can't even find the ears on this kitten, number 25. Just beautifully capped on that big round head. Sweet expression, lovely presentation. Kitten number 25 is my knight. I had a toyger to judge. I've never seen a toyger in person. I've only seen pictures of them, but I was very impressed with this kitten, number three. This is my eighth best kitten. Very nicely defined pencil mackerel striping on this girl, oh, sorry, guy. Love the head structure, everything, and, and not to mention the, the background, even though it's blurry because the cat's in focus, you can really see this is a beautiful picture of this cat just really shows off that mackerel tabby pattern. And kitten number three is my eighth best kitten today. Love this oriental short hair. Let's see, this is a uh, ebony spotted tabby. Really beautiful ears. I like the way they perfectly are in line with the wedge of the head. Lovely eyes set into the cheekbones there. Nice, long, elegant legs. This is a male but he's got that beautiful refined body with the neck and the legs. Gorgeous kitten, kitten number 14. Entry number 14 is my seventh best kitten. I have seen pictures of this Maine Coon female before. I think I had her in some previous virtual shows. I think she's just an absolutely beautiful silver patch mackerel tabby in white. Maine Coon. I love the balance on this girl. There is such balance to her head, the muzzle width, the ear size, the ear placement, the head width, the head length, the body, the bone, the legs. Everything to me just flows perfectly together on this girl. She's presented beautifully with that shaggy coat, that full brush to the tail. I love the width of that muzzle and like I said, the balance of the head. Kitten number 12, entry number 12, is my sixth best kitten. Beautiful Somali, entry number 35, this ruddy Somali female. Love the warmth to this coat. You can see the ticking to this cat. It's got that full brush of the tail with those britches. Gorgeous modified wedge shape to that head. I love the eye shape and eye color. Everything is just glowing on this kitten. She is my fifth best kitten. And the Abyssinian, a ruddy Abyssinian, these eyes just melted me. What beautiful expression. I love the ear size and the placement. No markings anywhere on this cat. Again, glowing color. Beautiful Abby kitten number one is my fourth best kitten. Whoops. Love this picture of this Sphinx. This is probably my all-time best picture. If I was just judging on picture quality, quality alone, this would be my best. I love the picture of this Sphinx. It just truly exemplifies the personality of the cat. I love those lemon-shaped eyes, the wrinkles everywhere, the beautiful ears. The personality just exudes through this photograph. I love this entry number 37, Sphinx. By color is my third best kit. Beautiful silver patched uh, Persian. Love this girl. Such a short mid piece on this girl with that big round head, little tiny ears set well into the head. The eyes are big and open and expressive with beautiful eye color that breaks centered right between the eyes. You can tell she's groomed to perfection with her short tail and those heavy bone legs. What a beautiful girl this is. She is my second best kitten. And my best kitten is a ragamuffin. I love this girl. Let me make sure I get her color right. She's a sable, silver, tabby, and white. This picture was not my favorite picture. There were three pictures entered. I liked one of the other ones better. Uh, but when they made my PowerPoints, they chose this one. But you can really see the beautiful 
sweet expression on this girl. Really like the ear size and placement, the eye aperture, the body, the coat, the color, everything is just so well put together. She is a gorgeous representation of the ragamuffin breed. And I'm very proud to make her kitten number 23, my best kitten in show. Thank you to the hardworking team that has put this all together. I mean, it takes a village. <laughs> and thank you to Iris Zink and Laura Gregory. They've been, uh, I've written to them several times because I've had difficulty trying to get everything scored. I appreciate all of their help. I appreciate the club having me judge this virtual cat contest. Congratulations. I know it's a huge success for the club and for the breeders. And thank you for letting me be a small part of it.